Podgorica taking on St. Pauli here in this one. Let's go! Let's get into it. Podgorica currently 0-1-1, St. Pauli 1-0. St. Pauli with a win here would secure them and a huge one-handed slam to get things kicked off. And the ball come right back the other way too. St. Pauli apparently looked like one of the best teams they've had here so far. And that right there from Milos Jovanovic is what we call a business decision. Get out of the way of it, don't get put on a poster as there's a collision. Ready, step to the side. Ah, no, maybe I don't want this. That is how you go viral. <laughs> Here it is, Giesman. Ball takes a big bouncer off the front of the rim. And it will be picked up there by Podgorica. Popovic nets it. First two-point shot of the game goes to Podgorica. Here again with Giesman. Just puts something up. Turn to the ref looking for a foul. Buja Denovic tries to respond with a big slam of his own. Luca Ogi Ozono will check into the game here for St. Pauli. And I got a call for a push off, so play will flip. Here's the big response palm of the basketball. Nice little step through there over towards the inside. Popovic again. Now one for two on his attempts. And now that he slapped out of play, it goes off of Ozano. Ray Savage. Another foul called again. Just a lot of contact every single time these players start to move around the ball. And that one's going to be stolen away. And there's an easy lay in there for Marco Recevic. Trying to slap that one away and does. Ozono loses it. They get it there to the inside. And what a finish. Dazzling display there in that sequence. Podgorica off to a hot start as there's a two rating in from Fabian Giesman. Looks like we have a warning there on that play. Oh, the, <laughs> the between the legs. There to the inside, pin low below the basket. Good to see a warning was given out for too much chatter to somebody on Podgorica. Ray Sevich gets it to the top of the arc, and it's going to be Alexa Bujadinovic getting their own rebound and being able to finish. Just a three-point game. Giesman loses the handle. Is going to be stolen away. Popovic lines it up. Can't knock it down, though. Trying to chase down his own rebound. Almost got there. Giesman goes up with it. And it looks like we're going to have a free throw coming up here. Chance for St. Pauli to try to cut into this deficit. Fabian Giesmann. 
able to knock it down. And more contact being made. And a technical foul is going to be called. That was the warning that was already given out. That was to Milos Kovanovic. I got the warning prior earlier in the game, so that was the technical foul. Got to be careful. They do get the ball back. Kovanovic dancing around, takes the two and drills it. What a way to make something out of nothing. Back to a four point game. Here's the step back, more contact made. Have yet to see the impact from Agiman that we saw from him when they played their first game against Miami. He was raining down twos. Another technical foul. Two technical fouls called. They make the free throw. And it's now seven fouls for Puerto Rico as well. You don't want it to be the way you lose the game because of the technical fouls that could easily be avoided. So not only the technical free throw, more than likely another two free throws coming. So it's actually up to eight fouls. Still a lot of game time left. Can't make that first one. This is Luca Ozono at the line for St. Pauli. And can't make the second either. Does get the rebound though. And that's going to be stripped away. Uja Denovic dribbling around. Takes the two. Can he get there for the rebound? They can't. It's going to be Hovanovic getting that one. And now he lines up one. Shows it from the right side. Does it from the left too. Giesman tries to respond and does. Quick answer from St. Pauli. Back on the other side, Popovic. Can't get that to go. Giesman steps into the left corner. Back to back. No. Giesman now with the triple drive. Barreling his way to the inside. Two point game. Loses his own footing there. Wants to go one on one. Kovanovic. It's stopped. Push to the back. No foul was called there. And the floater beats the buzzer. Good late clock execution coming out there from Puerto Rico. St. Pauli, Aguiman, his first two-point try of the game. Back of the rim. And it looked like it popped over. Rebound coming out there from Milos Hovanovic. As Ray Sevic able to beat the defender. 
Approaching the halfway point here in this game. And Ponco Rica have been in the driver's seat. Now they get a steal here as well. And that one is going to go out of bounds. Is it saved? It is saved. Bodies do end up hitting the floor. Here's Ozono slapped away. They're on that pass. To see who it goes with here. It looks like a hand got in there from somebody from Puerto Rica. Here comes the dribble drive from Giesman. Going to be walled up, and there's going to be a foul called. And another technical foul, three in the game. And two free throws to follow. The refs are not playing around here in this game. And a technical foul is worth two fouls. So, So, if my calculations are correct, it should be one free throw for the shooting foul. Sorry. One free throw for the technical, and then two for the shooting foul, and then balls back. This could be a big time swing for St. Pauli. right except from the ball's back foul was going to be called there on St. Pauli Foul trouble, St. Pauli has been able to bring this to within a one possession game. The county gets it to Giesman, can't knock down the two, they come flying in for the board. Not gonna be able to get there though. Going to be fouled on his way in. And they're trying to get the ball to the inside. And it'll be Agumen disrupting the play. And there's a line drive of a two there from Milos Hovanovic. Back up to a four point lead. Giesman for two. Lozono is able to pick it up. They get it back out over two. Giesman kicks it out. Agumon needs this one, knocks it down. Just his second try here in the game and is able to make it. Ovanovic gets that one walks away. Ozono easy feed down there to Giesman. Big two hand slam. We're looking at a one point game now. Another technical foul. I have commentated a lot of FIBA 3x3 games. 
but I have not seen a game with this many technical fouls. the technical free throw. They won't get to shoot two because they didn't have possession of the ball. And here's the drive coming in and the finish. Hoop and the harm from Marco Recevic. St. Pauli is getting a lot of stuff handed their way for them to try to come back into this game but just can't get over that hump. Puerto Rico continuing to make this a two possession game. Can they do it here? They can't. Still at one possession. They do get their own rebounds though. Gray Sevic pulls up. Can't get it to go. Gets the rebound and now it's an easy lay in. What a sequence there for Marco. Oh, what a spin move. Welcome to the spin cycle, my friend, says Fabian Giesmann. But it's still a two point game. And another foul will be called. What a beautiful spin there. I don't mean, right? Giesman steps it back, takes the two to tie it. Hits up the front of the back, but ultimately pops out. Agiman steps into a two. Oh, so close, but no cigar and a huge two hand slam. Fabian Giesman does it again. Hovanovic, oh, what a response! A big time two silences the crowd. Soon as you think St. Pauli is cutting into it, there's an instant response. This would be huge. The try comes up short for Hovanovic. Grabbing the rebound now. Ray Sevic spinning, gets the lay in to go, beats the buzzer. Just two points away from victory are Puerto Rico. Giesman spins, floats it. And the trash talking continues here. Kovanovic blow by, gets him to jump. A good wait out and immediately says too small. The man who has been piling up the technical fouls continues to talk the talk and walk the walk. Milos Kovanovic. Agiman gets it over to Giesman. They come out to Agiman, knocks it down. Three point game as it has been for so much of it. Here's some isolation from Milos. Hovanovic inside. Is he going to be fouled? No. A 
Shot clock went off. St. Pauli will get it back. Kiesmont uh, tries to get it to his counterpart. Can't get it to him, though. And all Hovanovic can do is just laugh. And easy blow by, oh, what a rejection! Geisman is there to keep the game alive. Over to the corner, Become can't get it to go. And Bacon was so close to getting the steal there. Hang time, the length, everything in Geisman's way. Oh, the push off and misses it. He's going to be knocked out of play, but we'll go to St. Pauli. Nice feet and inside of water rejection again. It's a block party here in Hamburg. Milos Hovanovic. Orgorica, another chance to close this one out. Pujadinovic pulls it out. Hovanovic, the step back in the mid range, no good. Kiesman gets it to Bacom. Kiesman over the left side, too short. So many chances for St. Pauli. Just can't get one to drop. Stuck there in the screen. The shot is up. The shot is good. And that is how it comes to a close. Alexa Vujadinovic knocking down the game winning shot. 22 to 17 is your final score. So every team in this group finishes one and one. Lots of tiebreaker stats that they're gonna have to go through to check this out to see who is gonna be the two teams playing tomorrow.